Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Tyranny. How's it going? We got the pile of rubble, so hopefully this works. Okay, great. Alright. Let's move you back. Move you up. We will start you off with... Who do we got? Oh, the Malice. Alright, let's kill the easier one first. Count, Count on it. Are we within the aura? The Malice aura? I don't think so. Let's hope not. Alright, anyway, let's uh, do this. Perfect. And then we want to Iron Hammer. Let's get him off Lantry. There we go. Let's do some spells. Mischievous Madness. We can try that. Trying to get all these people's lures up. I like those spells. Here. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. 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 Now, no, 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 no. We need to uh, shut off your AIs. Okay. Because I don't want you getting yourselves killed. Let's try this. Um, she had some other ability that I don't have on the bar. What did I take off? I took off something. I was changing everything around. I'm not sure what it was. Oh well. Try a false pit. Me hard. Can't do that. That's gonna be too close. Switch weapon sets. I'll turn on your AI again. Okay. Lantry, let's put the seal on you. Um, Spectral Blur on you. Time Fist. Alright. Verse. Would that even work? Eh, 40%, not really worth it. Let's just do it with that. <laughs> Barrack. <laughs> too close, too close. There you go. And heal. Nice. Man, everyone having magic is kind of intense. I got it. Okay, bridge is open. Let's go. So we've explored all of this. I feel like we're coming into the end here, but there's still this door. So we must have gotten a rune that will now open that up, right? And before we set these things in stone, we're probably going to sleep. So how many times have we rested now? Three? So we spent... When all this is said and done, we're going to be spending like a couple days in this, uh, in this wall. Still not gonna. Maybe this opens up later? Is there a switch that I miss? The right direction. Like maybe hitting these switches will open this door up? Okay, let's see. door of it all. Oh, 
I was hoping with one of these other keys that we got that maybe we can activate this with that. How do we get this activated? I'm assuming the switch opens that up, but we need to activate the switch first, but I can't... I'm on it. Alright. Uh, I guess... Right. Back to that. There is a bridge right here, so maybe after this fight's done, we can get onto this platform and then, that like, open up this door. Gotta be somewhere. Will do. Wait, 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 wait. Was there an icon on? Are there, are there icons? Or do these all look the same? Oh no, they all the switches look the same. All right. Well, let's sleep. And then, when we were resting, we will talk to Verse. At your service, Fatebinder. What do you need? Tell me about your time with the Scarlet Chorus. The Scarlet Chorus is mostly for madmen and peasants with rusty daggers, but it's also a little niche of freedom that I never had. Once I survived training and met my Scarlet Fury sisters, I saw a different side of the howling mob. For new recruits shoved to the front lines, Training means surviving the first battle. Anything beyond that is for the fighters who show potential, whether as blade dancers or arcane madmen. There's nothing in the world like getting put through the paces as a Scarlet Fury. Every day is a test of your commitment and passion. Failure means death. The first few weeks were the hardest, but also the most rewarding. I earned my name, picked up some quality weapons, and met my sisters. I love it when the lines are voiced. The elite fighters of the Scarlet Chorus. Your typical horde recruit fights with a rusty spoon and a chip on his shoulder, but the Scarlet Furies are, well, different. We focus our madness. We coordinate, we kill, we dance. It's like art. Imagine a sculpture that twisted in weird, beautiful angles and then gutted you too fast for you to realize what was happening. No, no, I'm not gonna say that. Ah, keep talking. If you think a simple farmer from the tears would name her child Verse, I suggest you visit my old village. Most of them are walking around with surnames like Beryl or Fish. Not the most creative bunch. The chorus takes your name away. Whoever you were before, you aren't that person anymore. Then you earn back a name through great deeds, usually murderous ones. That's why you see choir men walking around with names like Stink Mouse or Face First. There's probably a good reason. The voices of Narat gave me this name. When the Scarlet Chorus runs howling into battle, he doesn't hear war. He hears a symphony. And when I fight with Blade or Bow, he told me that my music stands out louder than anyone else's and contains too many parts to be easily defined. When you least suspect it, the Archon of Secrets could be downright charming. That question isn't worthy of either of us, but I'll entertain it out of pity. You already know me by my real name. It's Verse. Are you looking for whatever arbitrary collection of letters and sounds my mother thought was appropriate when she didn't even know me? Damn, she's taking this kind of hard. Alright. When I was just a kid, it didn't take me long to realize that I was a natural. I could pick up a rusty kitchen knife and skewer a rat from across the room. The Scarlet Chorus gave me opportunities to further educate myself. My sisters were always a bit surprised by how quickly I took to different fighting styles. Okay. What do you need to know? Yeah, why? Notice that, did you? It's a matter that I'm not used to discussing, mostly because I don't know how. I mentioned before that I'm good at picking up different weapons and fighting techniques. The truth is, I'm better than good. I could flay a man so cleanly that I'd leave a single strip of skin behind. Wait. 
when you like that you wouldn't leave a single strip of you wouldn't even need to be tied down oh god that was one of the first things i discovered about myself after joining the scarlet chorus the voices of Narat recognized it in me as well, which is why he singled me out for Scarlet Fury training. Go on. My sisters were the masters of their fighting forms, but since they died, my style has changed. Almost like... Like I can kill as they did. I could pick up a bow, a lance, anything, really. I could tear someone to pieces with a weapon that I had only watched my sisters use. I don't know what it could mean, and that worries me. Who were they would be more appropriate. Three Whispers, Red Geyser, and Seeking Sheath. Best fighters I ever met. There wasn't a foe we couldn't take down together. Our fighting styles complemented perfectly, so we divided up the killing work like bards sharing a song. At least we used to. Okay. She was as calm as the surface of a pond and light on her feet. More than one foe tripped and fell on their own blade due to Whispers' crafty footwork. First lets her gaze slip away from you as a fleeting moment of sorrow steals her attention. A one-woman siege breaker. She would launch herself at her foes like a battering ram. Not even a disfavored phalanx could have withstood that dumb suicidal wench. Kairos' eyes, but she was something to behold. Okay. That girl could pass the spear through twelve rings from the far side of a battlefield. Kairos helped any foes who approached her marching single file. She made a game of... Uh, spitting as many soldiers as possible on the same javelin. Jeez. We were scouting around Vindrian's well during the siege, back when we only suspected the guard of organizing in secret. My sisters and I came upon a group of them. Or, Kairos knows, maybe they found us. No one said anything. We drew iron and bronze. That was when everything went wrong. I was supposed to take point and occupy the guard with a dance of blade work, something disorienting while my sisters picked their marks. I hesitated. I lost my nerve. Instead of rushing the Oathbreakers, I froze with my weapon drawn. My sisters fought on without me, but they were off balance, like whatever I had was catching. They died. I lived. My sisters were relying on me to lead the dance, and I failed them. The good guy in me wants to say this. But it does sound like she may have failed them. Uh, caution stayed your hand. Uh, yeah. You're absolutely right. If I had witnessed the same in one of my sisters, I might have even killed her for endangering the rest of us. Good thing for me that they didn't get the chance. Hesitation is a rot. It's unbecoming of any chorus member, and unheard of in a Scarlet Fury. I would cut it from my body and cauterize the wound if... if only I knew its source. Any thoughts on the topic, or are we just here to open hold wounds? I wish I had an explanation. For the first time I lost the dance. The song of murder drew silent. Instead, there was only rigid, organized control. That sounds like the security of a phalanx to me. You should practice a more orderly form of combat if it suits you so well. Even if the Scarlet Corps fought in formation, it wouldn't be anything like your hideous shield wall. Hmm. What do you need to know? You gave the voices of Narada a piece of your mind, Avengers, as well. You should be familiar with him already. The rest are all offshoots of the voices, like the Fifth Eye. Once you get down to the rank of file, the Scarlet Chorus organizes around a motley bunch of gang bosses who call the shots. He's a madman, but that never stopped me from following his orders. Even in a legion as cutthroat as the Chorus, you know better than to get on the voice's bad side. People who cross him, or people he meets, or just people he meets, don't tend to survive the experience. If he ever seems disorganized or lost, it's because he's channeling one of the personalities he's devoured over the years. His mannerisms shift over to someone else. Someone who's probably long since dead. Better to die than become part of the voices. Steals the minds and knowledge of his victims. Interesting. He's the Archon of Secrets, and he didn't earn that title lightly. 
People say that he knows more than every sage in the tiers combined, and that he can think a thousand steps ahead of the of the other Archons. They would be putting it lightly to say he's never alone under that disapproving helmet of his. If you make secrets your business, I guess having people constantly whisper in your ear is as good a thing. I usually want people to shut up, but to each their own. A walking nightmare, that one. I couldn't begin to guess who lives under that armor and speaks with that reedy voice, but I'll tell you what I know. When your world is built on secrets, it pays to have a few extra eyes. The voices of Narat has eyes in abundance, some that he keeps close and others that he sends out in the wilderness. Whoever the fifth eye was before he came into the Archon service, now he's just a half-mad, jabbering speech hole, a bodily function. In other words, an eye. I don't think that's surprising. I mean, I think a lot of spies could be referred to as eyes, like... But sure. Maybe they used to be people, whatever... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, they're actually his eye. Not just, like, a... A figure... Oh. Um, whatever they were, their eyes now. Folks, like, like to whisper that voices in Rod takes the servants and cuts out all the extra parts that they don't need. Wait a minute, so they're just, like, all extensions of the voices? She's being literally, right? Like, literal. Not just figurative, like, oh, yeah, you know, this is the eyes. He's like a scout, a spy or something, but no, like, literally the eyes. What the f what? I once heard the voices in the fifth eye in a tent together. The voices kept screaming redundancies, redundancies, every time. Oh, wait, every time another god of blood would spray on the canvas walls. I can't even guess what he was cutting out. What in the f What? The number keeps changing, either because it grows or because rumors don't mean shit. Three, seven... 19. Some even say that all of us are eyes and we don't even know it. It's one of those questions that drives you mad if you allow yourself to think about it for too long. Hey, you could be one of Toonin's eyes. Bet you never thought of that. Hey now. Let's not be crazy. A boss is anyone who can rally enough support to kill the previous boss. They cling to command until someone gets wise and stabs them in the back. Hmm. Sounds like a great family. Uh, Tipcap leads the filthy lambs. Locks leads the rusted harps. Sharp used to lead the bone boys. Couldn't say where he ended up after they broke his legs. Water wheel orders around the hairy hunters. Halls for shit. <laughs> what? What the what? Halls for shit leads the lazy malkins. Then scurvy queen, finger food, and wild gash collectively lead the ladies of perpetual strangulation. Fuck. No, I don't, don't even, never want to meet those people. I'm forgetting at least a dozen more. I've even led a gang or two in my day. They never survived that. Halls for shit. Like, what? Why would you allow your name to be that? Why don't, you're a gang boss. Change it. Yeah, that's right. I go by halls for shit. What? What? Um, anyway, you led a gang? Don't act so surprised. I can crack a whip better than any of those daisies at the disfavored labor camps. But I was never that interested in the power struggle of those grunts and scabs in the middle. I wanted to stand on the top like an apex predator. Here I am. So when I got tired of a gang, I disbanded and let the other bosses fight over the new recruits. That much amused me. That much amused me, at least. Some of my old mates are still alive and hanging around wherever they ended up. Hmm. What do you need to know? That's been on my mind for some time, and I still don't have an explanation that fits. I have a few ideas, but... Scholar Furies share a sort of link. It's how we coordinate our dance in the heat of battle. We don't pass messages or anything, but our emotions and intentions sync up without words. Interesting. Is this Link Arcane? I would say it's emotional. The chorus is more interested in passion. Magic is just a convenient tool. The one thing I always knew was that I felt this connection more keenly than my sisters did. I could pick up nuances that they missed, and I could feel them from farther away. When my sisters died, I felt each of them getting yanked out of my brain like someone pulling snails from a garden. But some of their slime residue was still there. Does that make any sense?
Again, this is like what the good guy in me would say. But I think our character would lean more towards this. Skill. Not sure if I call it that. There's something parasitic about it, but I take your point. If there is an advantage to this thing I'm experiencing, I'm not above using it against our foes. No matter how you paint it, some part of my sisters broke off of me when they died, and now I'm left to deal with it. Just another day in the tears, right? Yeah, don't I know it. How many voices I have in my head hauls for shits up in there somewhere, just yammering her on. Let's talk about your combat Do you abilities. now? Call me intrigued. You already know that I memorize the moves of my Scarlet Fury sisters. If it seems like a total mystery to me, I don't know how you could have arrived at any conclusions, but I'm open to ideas. Well, let's, uh, let's drop some lore on you. Your talent reminds me of the voices of Nora. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. No, that, that totally makes sense. I hope I didn't hear you say that, Fatebinder. Because the implication is more than either of us is prepared to handle. The voices of Narat is a monster. We both know that Teratus has never seen a creature more despicable than him. Never mind that he's kind of my boss. I think she's mentioned he's a monster before, but I'd never... Well, maybe it's because I didn't hear her voice and I read her lines, but she never seemed so against him before. So passionate about that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not... This is true. My little talent that latches onto my friends and bleeds them dry, you mean? Because I never asked for it. Damn. See what happens when they actually get the read on the lines? I've traveled with the chorus for years. I've seen what the voices can do, and it scares me, all right? The idea that everything I am could be reduced to... to that. This is so much better than me reading these. If I had that kind of power, if I could become like him, I don't know how I could live with myself. I'd rather drown myself in a camp latrine. <laughs> oh, the voice isn't so bad. I don't know. Give it a chance. One or two. Eh, I'll ask why such an Because the voices isn't... I mean, can you even call him human anymore? I don't know. Everything I am has led me to this point. I joined the chorus, fought to survive, grew stronger than I ever knew I could be. I never needed to steal anything that made me, me. I don't want to be better by being someone else. The Voices is stronger than anyone and terrifying enough to lead the chorus, but he's also an overgrown parasite. And someday he'll stuff himself so full of voices that he'll burst. All right, then we'll go with two. I'm sure he had the same idea when he got started. But you know what they say about power? It's usually wielded by assholes. Is that what they say about power? Hmm. That makes sense. My sisters died. Oh, you should have seen us. We were amazing together. I didn't mean to take away what made them special, but I did it all the same. And let me tell you, it felt terrible. It is. I mean, it's it's really interesting. Um, their connection, and they all seem to be connected to her specifically, so that when she was faltering, they all did. So they fought as a hive. That's just, I don't know, it's an interesting concept that, like, anyway. If I lived a century, I might never figure out how to make that happen again. And more importantly, I don't want to. Hmm. What are your thoughts on the disfavored? I think we know her thoughts. But I guess we can... A warren of self-entitled children so wound up in delusions of honor, they're likely to hang themselves by their own high standards. I wish they had stayed in the Northern Empire where they belonged. Then we could give her some real work done in the tears. Yeah, let's, let's just... Let's end the conversation on... On that last one. For now. We'll talk again. So we unlock this fear one. 
Fire damage. Pulse rate for 3 seconds. Burst attacks for 15 seconds. Area of effect. Mage fire. Causes burn damage over time. Accuracy plus 100. Projected tits flames towards Verse, which she catches on her blades and spins into an R. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We read about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds cool. That sounds pretty sweet. Okay. So we had a nice chat with Verse while we were resting. I don't know. Like, it was really an interesting chat. And now, we battle. Can't do that. Wait, what? Is there an order I have to drop these in? Yeah, I don't feel exactly great about this, but that orb appears one breath away from collapsing. Since being sensible and abandoning the scars aren't options, might I suggest drawing our blades? Sure thing. We'll draw our blades. Okay. Let's do this. It's been a tough battle in this dungeon, so I'm assuming this is going to be hard as well. Hi, Havoc. How's it going? Just want to check up on you. Um, this is probably the time to do all the AoE or the um, wants to rest type stuff. Let's do Consider it done. This? Is that a massive AoE that it has? Interesting. Erase the record on you. Let's also give you Titan's Touch. Uh, give you Titan's Touch. Oh, that was. Oops. I got it. Okay. And start nailing this thing with some spells. This definitely looks like some kind of AoE that I don't want any part of. Bleed out, you little shit. Yeah, bleed out, you little shit. Spectra Blur. Oh, 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 okay, um, let's do the, yeah, let's do the Will of Ages thing. If I had kisses, they'd be feeling that one. Alright, buddy. You probably don't bleed. Oh, actually, let's cast some more spells. Oop, wrong one. Okay. Let's try and false pit the dervish. Charge fist the dervish. You keep nailing this monstrosity. Lantry. You're going into the AoE there, buddy. You're going into the AoE. Hold on. Back up, back up. Just re-engage someone else. Save that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, sure. Cast it. Recast this on you. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, because it's about to fall off. Then. You 
knock this thing down. <laughs> So far, so good. This is gonna daze it, right? You bro. You dent. Are you, you got immune to rapid strike? That is how it's done. I didn't think so. Let's try. Let's try the um, team up ability. So we're gonna have to switch her into melee. But I want to see this. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> you switch to to the melee stance. We're going in. Let's cast this on you. Can't do that. Also, let's cast. Um, this is almost up. Get in there. That's better. Kill yourself. Uh -huh. You got. It. Now nail them both. <laughs> Let's get some surge of glory going on. Taken a beating. So we cast that. Search floor to be up. Uh. Okay, you are um, experiencing some bad stuff. Now pop this. Need to move. Uh, passive hours, right, right, right. Slow this fucker down. But also drink a potion. Ah, oh, you're gonna be mean to prone. No. To fly back. Switch up to the range stance again. Save. Try to finish that off. You got it. Pay attention, kids. Nice job, nice job. Uh, hmm. Thirty three percent is not great. Barracks almost dead. Pop that. Count. Charge fist, only 16%, never mind. Uh, 19%, just use Spectral Blur on yourself instead. What other combo abilities can work here? That's knocking them prone, which they're immune to. Death from above actually could be pretty good. Can't do that. Okay, here, let's try that again. I thought they would maybe automatically move to each other. Oh, huh. there we go. I need to have one. These combo abilities just look cool. They look fun. Can't do that. Okay, well, let's heal up. Uh, heal up, Barrack. I'll take care. Woo! I'm not going close. <laughs> Alright, back out of that. Try and pummel it with spells. Um, let's do the damage resistance. Oh, 
and I've been forgetting your... Yeah, this thing. Nice. Let's do some damage to it. Just keep hitting this thing. Oh, but it has to be targeted on somebody? Uh, alright, target on you. I can't just like hit an AoE. Let's have it. Spectre Blue! Did I accidentally move you? Damn it. Dangerous. Forgot to use her poisons again. Swing out that much. Maybe we should try and take this thing out. That's right, melee. Ugh. No dice. Can do some damage. Just need to get in the right position. Uh, there we go. That's much better. I got it. That's how it's done. Uh, yeah, that's how it's done, sucker. Um, you already have special blow on yourself. Just do a normal attack. Fire attack. Once. I feel like we've almost got this. Will do. Stompers. Reflect 10% of incoming hostile spells back to their casters. Heavy armor. Hmm. Hmm. I hate losing deflection. Spell reflections and sounds pretty cool. Recipe The Walking Death. Describes the process for growing a powerful mushroom known as the Waking Death. Uh, that can prevent death. This mushroom can be grown with access to a spire infirmary upgrade. That sounds like a potentially useful item to have. Okay, boots. What are your boots right now? Stone shield boots. Give you that. 
We're gonna have a lot of items to sell. I'm not gonna sell your quill. Just prepping our inventory, because everything I'm sticking down here, I know that it's safe to sell, so I don't have to spend time checking it again. Um, man, a whole second of recovery, too. Yeah, maybe we... Uh, how much armor was this? Two? Eh, no, nah, nah, nah. That's fine. Never mind. Just gonna get rid of it. Everything else I think we can keep. I like Lantry having fast um, recovery time. But uh, armor is good too. Fashion and likeness of Star Wars Battle Standard, this emblem is worn by every first region since the realm was carved from the Stone of Tears. Originally nothing more than an officer's finery, the steadfast insignia swelled into popularity as those who wore it earned their deserving titles as war heroes. The insignia had developed a reputation as the architect of victory over time and the secret of success on the battlefield. As its recognition grew, the armies of Star Wars learned to rise up against any odds when the insignia was present, a streak that held uh, with admirable consistency. Okay. Well, let's take it. Leave the old walls breach. Yeah, but like we're not... There's clearly a part we're missing. Like the part where this is activated. But it must be activated in here. Ah, it's infuriating. What did I miss? That's where we came in. I had to have missed something. But I can't activate that. Is there a switch up here? Ah, oh, this is infuriating. Holding down tab, just seeing if anything I possibly miss. Can't do that. It has to be activated by something. Maybe if I just kill this thing. Come over here. Heads up, we have company. And she's gone. Do we get ah! breaks in this gang or what? Yeah, none of those switches are activated either. All right, well. I guess I'll just see you all next time. I'm gonna run to the spire since we got the full engraving, at least as much as I know. Sorry, I can't. Um. Yeah, we're gonna do that next time. I'm just really just like, oh, what the hell did I miss? Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.